Hello everybody, so let's say that you are making a music video or something that requires a progress bar and you would like to showcase it. It's very simple to create, let me show you how we can do it with a few keyframes. So let's create a new composition and let's just say that my song has about 3 minutes of duration, 3 minutes and 3 seconds, no problem, let's make it like that. So we will need only two shapes. Let's for example make a rectangle progress bar. So this would be the progress bar that I'm working on, let's make it like that and let us make it a bit darker, so this will be the background. Now I will duplicate it and this will be the filler. Let's say that the fill will go something brighter, like that. Now look how simple it is. I select the filler, I select my rectangle tool and instead of creating a shape I will create a mask. So I want to create a mask and I will start the mask here. The mask will go right at the beginning, at the very beginning, we have mask number one. Let us click on the mask, maybe even I will go here, I will double click on it. And at this point, this progress bar should be filled entirely. I want to be precise because I want it to be very, very precise like that. Okay, it will be here. I just hit enter and this keyframe indicates where the song ends. You see, it's super simple to make a progress bar like that. Then I just press U on their keyboard and if my song has, for example, 3 minutes or 2 minutes, let's say that your song or something has 1 minute 30, you just take this keyframe, you select the shift key and you place it here. Boom, the progress bar is ready. If you want any changes or a triangle or something floating around here, that's also no problem. Just go to the beginning it would require one more keyframe, but I think you can work with that. You could even go to ellipse, ellipse pad, click on the position, then at 130, let me make the position to this point, and okay, and you are ready. Next time, when you need to reshape something, for example to this point, you just take both keyframes and you place these keyframes here, and this is how this progress bar would look like. Super simple and very effective if you want to make it quick in your project. If you want to be a little wizard in After Effects too, I have a lot of After Effects content on my YouTube channel. If you would like to dive deeper into After Effects, I have also links to courses in the description. My name is Andrzej Pach and this was a progress bar tutorial in After Effects. Thank you so much for listening and see you in the next one.